So let's run the application. And first, I'm going to click Add to Order, which will add the computer because by default it's selected, but without adding the address. Now I go to Shopping Cart. I can see I ordered one computer. It actually doesn't show the total cost, so we'll have to see what's wrong there. Now let's go to Mailing Label, and it says no address was entered. I click OK, and we are back to order form. So I'll just enter some address. Now I'll go to mailing label, and you can see our address is there. And in our shopping cart, I still have one computer. But again, we still need to take care of the total cost. But let's add another computer, and let's say another two mouse, and add one monitor. The same address, I'll click shopping cart, and you can see we have two computers, two mouse, and one monitor. Let's go to mailing label, and it's still there. If I click new order, you can see everything reset. We are back to computer here. Items ordered is zero. Shopping cart is blank. It says no items were ordered. And mailing label is blank because no address was entered. We simply reset the form. So let's just quickly see why the total doesn't show. And that's because over here, I added the total cost instead of to my label. I added it to the products list box. So that's of course wrong. I added it to the wrong element. So it's supposed to be LBL total cost that will have this text with our cost. So very easy to fix. My bad, but just a little oversight. Let's run this again. So once again, I'll enter some address and I'm going to order two printers, two monitors, one USB cable, and two headphones. So when I go to shopping cart, now we have the total, and I have two printers, two monitors, one USB cable, and two headphones. And we can verify manually if our calculations is actually correct, just to make sure. And when I edit everything together, you can see the numbers match. So our calculation is correct. And when I go to mailing label, here is my label like I entered it in my order form. So I'm going to order something else. I'm going to order the computer, so that will increase the number of ordered items to 8. And now it's going to be 1714 because computer is $1,000. And the mailing label stays the same. So now our application is working correctly. And again, if I remove this and try to go to mailing label, it tells me no address was entered. It still shows it there because that's from previous entry but right now we deleted it so it needs a new address now and when i clear everything go to new order now i cannot even go to shopping cart because no items were ordered and if i enter an address i'll be able to go to mailing label but still not to shopping cart because we still did not actually add anything to the order the items ordered is zero once i enter something there now we can go to shopping cart and the mailing label as well. Alright, so everything is working as expected. So in this exercise, we once again work with array of objects, in this case, array of products, and we navigated between three tabs. So we were able to get all the elements from these three tabs and interact with each other. And we made sure that we only were able to enter each of these tabs if specific conditions were met, meaning we could not enter the shopping cart tab if there was no order, and we could not enter mailing label if there was no address. We kept the calculations for items ordered as well as total cost, and we populated our products into the domain up down. So I hope you found this exercise interesting, that you learned a few tricks, and I will see you in the next video.